The T2A2 is known as the world's second largest dump truck. The empty T2A2 weighs 240 tons, which is equal to the weight of 130 standard cars. To transport it along the road, a national group decided to remove its wheels before the loading. Then, a road rail powered by two powerful trucks is used to carry it. Police helped escort this beast throughout its journey. A road train is a trucking vehicle used to move road freight more efficiently than semi-trailer trucks. Usually it consists of more than two trailers hauled by a prime mover. For many years, dual-powered road trains have been serving biz industries in nickel mines. It could carry away 500 tons of payload. That results in fewer haul cycles and a reduction in headcount. It can also be deployed considerably quicker than the standard truck meaning that its development can begin sooner. Its state-of-the-art equipment enables higher average running speeds over limitless distances with tremendous benefits like narrower road haulage and dust suppression. Grapes grow on vines, so harvesting them requires a tall but sleek machine, which can easily move through orchards. Pelank has developed such a harvesting machine and named it the Optimum. It features a comfortable spacious cabin with panoramic visibility. Its harvesting unit comprises flexible horizontal rods that strike and vibrate the vines, causing grapes to fall into the buckets. All controls on this machine are conveniently located. While moving from one row to the next, it is capable of making sharp U-turns. Moreover, it's equipped with five emergency stop switches, three maneuvering cameras, and slope sensors to keep everyone safe around it while harvesting. Potatoes are harder to harvest than other crops because they grow underground. But the SC260 is able to accomplish the task with many exceptional features. Its two-row intake unit keeps the digging depth constant. On the main webs, its high cam belts gently transfer the crop. The separating unit has two cleaning rollers, one for separating haul residues and the other for removing cloddy soil and small trash fragments. Its six-ton bunker enables you to run the machine non-stop on long fields. Another bunker head can be attached for crop transfer into a separate transport trailer.
Do you know how long it takes a super load to reach its final destination? Interestingly, this 637,000 pound load took over a year and a half to move 61 miles, which is the fastest record. Perkins achieved this by using their 400 ton dual lane loading suspension beam with 48 axles. They call it the road train. It is 391 feet long and 22 feet wide. So this carrier is only permitted to move at night. Usually the trailer is configured to accommodate a top down load maneuver, allowing a crane to place the cargo between the suspension beams from above and secure onto customized load support beams below. The Biz Rex is a mining truck with a payload capacity of 160 tons. Excellent features including balanced weight distribution and the ability to haul efficiently on 12% gradients make it possible to operate on narrower and steeper haul roads and in tighter cutbacks, reducing development costs, rehabilitation and environmental disturbance. Rex travels four times further than conventional dump trucks and consumes 40% less fuel. The driving monitoring system provides excellent visibility, whereas a world-class fatigue detection system takes care of the driver and the truck. This brand new vehicle known as the D-150T is engineered, designed and assembled by Dramus International. It operates in a mine in the Kivalik region of Nunavut, Canada, with temperatures of negative 45 degrees Celsius and below. It is used to carry 150 metric tons of gold ore over a distance of 144 kilometers, back and forth, and on a path made of crushed rocks with 8% slopes. On top of this, it must travel at 50 kilometers an hour loaded. The truck's heart is the X15 engine, which generates 605 horsepower and 2,050 pound-feet of torque. The Liebherr T284 Similar to the Terex and Komatsu dump trucks, this monster could carry 363 tons of payload. However, its gross weight is 600 tons, 30 tons less than its rivals, and the secret is hidden behind well-engineered body design. This gives the Liebherr T284 an advantage over reducing fuel consumption while transporting tons of material. The truck stands 7.5 meters high and 9.6 meters long, equipped with a 20-cylinder diesel engine with a gross power output of up to 3,750 horsepower. The vehicle uses an IGBT AC electric drive system. It can travel at a speed of 64 kilometers an hour. The new TA230 Lightronic dump truck has been created for rigorous off-road use. The empty machine weighs 24,600 kilograms. Its payload capacity is 28,000 kilograms and has a powerful engine with 265 kilowatt output. Its efficient drivetrain, permanent 6x6 all-wheel drive, reliable traction control, and solid axle mounts enable the new Liebherr dump truck to tackle any terrain. This means it can produce quick cycle times, regardless of whether it is on a large construction site, in a quarry, or in a tunnel. It also has a machine body designed for easy maintenance, a smart machine checkup and a unhindered access to the entire engine bay minimizes daily maintenance work.
When it comes to lifting extreme loads with precision and power, the leading heavy transporters, including Mamoet, rely on the Liebherr LR13000. It is a crawling crane with a 144 meter long boom and a lifting capacity of 3,000 tons, designed to lift massive construction structures and equipment. You can see its performance. The LR13000 is lifting an 87 meter long, 940 ton heavy wind turbine platform leg to a height of 130 meters. To raise each mighty leg safely, the LR13000 is equipped with the Power Boom Parallel Boom system for the first time. From uplifting to the installation, it took one week for four platform legs. The E-Dumper is an ultra-class dump truck with a 123-ton payload capacity. Unlike traditional dumpers, it is powered by electric motors that produce a tremendous amount of torque and have a wider speed range. It is the world's largest electric vehicle, using a 700 kilowatt hour battery to keep it running. Along with that, it uses regenerative braking. The E-Dumper is comparatively less noisy, CO2 emission free, and cost effective. Low loaders are used in transporting giant machines that can't run fast on roads because of their crawling undercarriage. This one is made by Pia Santini and Son with exceptional features. It can carry a 1 million kilogram payload and can be customized for a particular selection of earth moving. Its seamless transition from ramp to platform eliminates the requirement of pivot points during loading and unloading. Moreover, it can be operated remotely, making it easy to operate during a loading operation.
All gardeners and lawn owners are aware of the rake and its uses. It is a toothed kind of tool that cleans up undesirable items without harming the grass. Gessner Industries has designed such a stick rake that fits with a bulldozer blade and is extremely simple to install. With it, you can remove shrubs and tiny pieces of wood. All you have to do is maintain the blade on the ground and drive the bulldozer throughout the area. Next, we have the Wolverine Rotary Ditcher. It has reshaped the way contours, banks, rivers, and channels are constructed and maintained. By distributing material on each side of the 1.5 meter incision, the earth mover eliminates the need to level dirt mounds or ridges left behind by scrapers, graders, or bulldozers. The operator can discharge dirt up to 45 meters on either side of the earthworks either near the cut to build up a channel or contour wall, or to top dress neighboring paddocks and cultivate excess soil from the cut. In most cases, two distinct machines are needed to plow and seed any land. However, Gessner's cutter bar and seeder can work together with the same machine. As a result, fuel usage and labor costs can be cut considerably. You may also utilize these two components alone. Gessner constructed the cutter bar from high tensile steel that is capable of readily cutting through dirt. The cedar drum is 11 feet long and is between 22 and 30 inches in diameter. To roll the drum, all that is required is a one horsepower motor. Many harvesting tools are available for corn, but the three-row rotary corn head has carved a special place in the marketplace. Instead of a belt, a gearbox has been added, which transfers power from the tractor to the rotary blades. This enables it to cut and process the whole corn plant. The second mechanism connected to it is responsible for separating the kernels and storing them. This rotary blade has a working width of 88 inches. It works very well in cornfields, thanks to its gearbox system. Additionally, this enables you to run more efficiently with less maintenance. Cress's low dump carbon carriers have proved to have the smoothest riding, the quickest delivery speed, and the industry's most outstanding payload to weight ratio. The steering angle of 85 degrees ensures superb maneuverability. On both empty and full trucks, an ideal match of weight. Dual pneumatic on all four axles guarantees limitless long haul results. Free and loaded smooth ride features. 
The Terex MT6300 AC is another masterpiece made by the American manufacturer Terex in 2008. It has 400 tons of payload capacity. The body of the truck is 7.92 meters in height and 14.63 meters in length. The vehicle is equipped with a four-stroke diesel engine with 20 cylinders powering an AC electric alternator, which in turn supplies power to the electric motor fitted at each side of the rear axle. The rated power output of the engine is 3,750 horsepower. Terex MT can move at a maximum speed of 64 kilometers an hour. Sometimes the size of a load causes more complications than the weight, but when you have to carry up to 200 tons of load across a narrow public area, transportation becomes even more dangerous. In 2013, such a situation occurred when Felbermayr came to Romania with eight steel giants. Each weighed 245 tons. There were hurdles like plants and trees on both sides of the road. A slight twitch could cause a severe accident, but the attentive and experienced team of Felbermayr successfully delivered to the port of Constanta without even a scratch. Modular trailers are used to carry heavy cargo, but unlike SPMTs, these can't run by themselves. Usually, a truck or tractor is used to pull them. The combined units are sometimes called road rails. For this load, the Bielen Group coupled a notebook trailer with a Volvo FH750. Integrating both marvels has made the transportation service much faster and more flexible. Bielen Group now heavily relies on these. You can see the speedy delivery of the loaded excavator, which reflects its efficiency. If you're enjoying this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, it helps us a lot. Industry required the installation of heavy equipment and machinery on the site. But the first challenge comes with the transportation, especially if it has to be done by a public road. Bayel Brothers hauling truck dedicated itself to heavy haul transportation and rigging, and all oversized items that entail special care. Now it's going to take the 461 ton transformer to its destination. This hauler is 73 meters long and 6 meters wide. 
two additional trucks are used to drag and drive it. A team of workers and wireless communication ensures the balance of haulers from different angles and points. The best thing about this hauler is, it safely gives a low ground clearance, so that heavy and oversized units can cross bridges and travel over highways. Stacker reclaimer machines are used at mining sites to dig out mineral deposits at a massive level. Here is the 15th part of a reclaimer machine, which is the largest, weighing 208 tons. Bolor Logistics took the responsibility to give a damage-free and safe delivery. The total distance was only 7 kilometers, but because of several hurdles, this took 8 months. There were three railway lines on the way, and for that, Bolor Logistics used one of the finest mobile bridge systems available. It took two years to reach all parts of the machine at the assembly point. Today, all around the Earth, 440 nuclear plants are operational and currently providing 11% of the world's electricity. Now, 60 more are under construction, and they are required to have these two feed water preheaters within the turbine building. Each preheater weighs 26 tons and measured 10.2 meters long, 2.3 meters wide, and 2.8 meters high. For a safe journey, there is no other than Mammoth's self-propelled modular transporter, aka SPMT. Its wheels can be turned 360 degrees together or separately. You can also attach many SPMT units according to the load size. All the units can be controlled via a single remote. In short, from transporting massive objects to heavy equipment, the SPMT could carry any super low. This massive truck requires no introduction, being the world's largest mining truck. The Belaz 75710 weighs 360 tons and is able to carry 496 tons on its back. You can imagine what happens to the track when it runs over with its massive weight. The truck is 20.6 meters long, 8.16 meters high, and 9.87 meters wide. The 75710 features eight large-size Michelin tubeless pneumatic tires and two 16-cylinder turbocharged diesel engines. The power output of each engine is 2,300 horsepower, making a total of 4,600. The vehicle uses an AC electromechanical transmission.
crawling systems are widely used in machines, including war tanks, to give the best stability even on rough terrains like snow or mud. However, the crawling units can't run so fast. They often damage the road while moving. That is why low loaders are used for the transportation of crawlers. This low loader by Sleepnare is pretty special. Because of hydraulic units, you can vary the level of its height. With a deployable ramp, it can set your crawling machine for transport within two minutes. Hey guys, thanks for watching and we really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you have any thoughts about what you just watched or have ideas for future videos, comment them down below. If you enjoyed what you just saw, feel free to like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell too. Thanks for watching and we hope to catch you next time.